as I hear from pro guarding, um, we often get asked what's the best way to hook a hook our jet ski sleds up to the jet ski and also the connections onto the sled. So I'm just going to demonstrate what you get in the connection kit and how to hook it onto the sled. Firstly, if we open this bag up, we've got two rubber rings, six inch rings. Got two 30 mil tubes that go over the rubber rings. Got a piece of rope, which is your center connection. And then three stainless steel metal connectors. And also, we've got two large cable ties. These just help guide the tube through the, the rubber through the tube and then um, acts as a leverage point for connecting the sled to the ski. So, um, what you're after, this is our final product here. Once it's been, the connection is on the sled. And then you've got, so you've got the tube, the rubber goes through the tube, and then the connection point goes on here. And then you've got your rope for the center connection with a metal clip on the end of that. So if we move over here, I'm just gonna demonstrate how to perfect getting this onto here. So firstly, you get the rubber ring. Feed the rubber ring through this metal carabiner like this, okay. through there like that, pull it tight, and then what I do, I, you get a bit of lubricant, because it's nearly impossible to have this rubber ring slide through the tube, so what I do, um, just you can use any lubricant, dishwashing liquid, or whatever, hand soap, just pour a little bit, not too much, just line the inside of that. And then what I do, I get one of these large cable ties, put it through like this, and then squeeze that together, feed that through, that through the tube. And then the lubricant will help feed the rubber ring through the tube. And then you'll see the cable tie comes up through the end. Then I just connect the cable tie. And this will help as a leverage point. So what you do now, you want to connect that metal clip to the rubber. So what you do is just pull it up tight, like that. And then with the other hand, just snap the carabiner on there like that. And there you go. You've got your connection point ready to go. You got your connection points on the sled. So now I'm just gonna demonstrate on how to put the sled and connect it to the jet ski. It's pretty straightforward. So on 99% of jet skis, you've got these anchor points down here, which uh, are, are, are points where you tie the jet ski down to the trailer, but they come in perfect for also connecting the jet ski sled to the ski. Um, this is how I use, I connect all of my sleds and probably 90% of the guys out there um, prefer this way or everyone's got their personal preference or you could use some people like it you have the u-bolts fixed on the side here and have the side connections but that does take a little bit of work um, you might have to get the manufacturer to do it or um, or a handyman but um, this is the easy way and it's super effective so what you do you start from the from the right hand side and work your way across so you just snap this one on under here edge with the metal clip and you work your way along you pull the sled up you want to put the sled nose up on the transom deck there and then you walk around you want to connect this next one under here this is where this uh, cable tie comes in super handy get that little bit of anchorage get your hand in there pull it down and snap that onto that you're in business all right and then you move along the most important part of connecting any sled to a jet ski is your middle connection point you've got your rope here um the rope that i've um supplied is not necessarily going to fit every ski so you might have to adjust it to suit you might have to double this up if, you, if it's too long or shorten it or redo your knot but 
this majority of the skis will have this metal uh, connection bolt here. You just snap it on like that. And the most important part is to test is then what you don't want is that rope being too long. So when the sled is under full pressure, that it pulls out of the transom deck and nose dives and then it'll catapult the ski. So what you want to do is just give it a good yank and see that the, the nose of the sled is going to still sit on the back of the transom under full pressure. And as you can see, I've got it full, the, the rope's tight there, the nose still sitting on the back transom deck, and you're in business.